Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. We have got a great show for you guys today. Um, we're going to be covering the um, be covering Brock Pur uh, Purdy, Patrick Mahomes, and Lamar Jackson, and then we'll be moving into the quarterback uh, Kirk Cousins. Uh, talking about Jim Harbaugh and Bill Belichick, and then we'll be moving on to Tyler Bass and Jason Kelsey, and then make sure you stick around towards later in the show Well, I'll be diving into some oddities of the day. Um, before we start, I would like to ask you um, that you like and follow the show. Also, we get a number of questions from viewers that come in during the show, so to ensure that your questions get read on air, I ask that you use the tips and donations link with your question. This puts your question at the top of the list so that I see it, and it also just really helps the show. Um, without further ado, let's get started. What's that link to that, uh, to the show? <laughs> oh, you're right. Sorry. At streamelements.com slash GMC, uh, sports oh, network. Oh, oh. <laughs> GSMC, it is not GSM. <laughs> GSMC Sports Network dot slash tip. Sorry. I, I had to say that. This is Tate. And, and this is GMC is a GMC is a car. Or actually it's a truck, I think. <laughs> yeah. So sorry. No, no, no. It's just being silly. Okay. What do you have for us, Miss Tate? How are you? First off, um, how are you doing today? I'm good. It's early. But I'm good. It, I've got some caffeine see, in me. <laughs> see, it's early for you. It's late for it's midday for me. It's uh right at right around right, a little bit after lunchtime for me. I'm actually here in in Portugal, so I'm in Europe, and you are on the east coast of the United States here. Yes, so it is uh, bright and early, seven thirty a.m. <laughs> since five o'clock this morning. And look, and I'm the I'm the slacker. It's uh, it's right about twelve thirty midday <laughs> for me, so I'm the lucky one. And it's about oh. seventy degrees. Oh, that's so nice. It's like twenty here right now. <laughs> All righty. So, um, before we dive into our first segment, we are going to talk a little bit about um, the points that were racked up. Um, with Joel Embid and Carl Anthony <laughs> Towns, they combined. Did I say his last name wrong? Joel Embiid, which is not Embiid. an easy say. Yes. Oh, okay, excuse me. Joel Embiid <laughs> and Carl Anthony Towns, um, they com combined 132 points yesterday, and I think Tate wanted to dive in a little bit about that and talk about that first. I we had to dive in and talk about that. Uh, first off. I mean, Joel Embiid just went off for 70 points. Uh, was just, I, I, I didn't watch the game until this morning. I woke up and uh, all these alerts were going off of how Joel Embiid and, uh, and Carl Anthony Towns both went off. And it's the first time, uh, this only happened four times in history that two players in the NBA had scored more than 60 points in uh in a game on the same day it's happened once in 1961 that was El elgin baylor and wilt chamberlain which wilt chamberlain is always going to be on these records when you're talking about scoring a bunch of points or, or doing things that are just un inhuman it's always wilt chamberlain in 62 the following year jerry weston wilt chamberlain did it in 1979 78 uh, David Thompson did it, and the Iceman George Gervin did it, and then last night Joel Embiid uh, went off, and so did Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, man, so last night the seventy points for Joel Embiid just shows, in my opinion, it's him and Joker as the best two players in the league. The league is is. The MVP, it's a, it's a two man race uh, between Joel Embiid and and Joker. Now, when you look at it and you start looking at how he was performing last night, he was he was just on a tear. Uh, the most points in 76ers history, once again, uh, the two biggest scoring nights for the 76ers in history, 
once again, Wilt Chamberlain. Uh, he did it back in 66 with 65 points. He did it again in 67, and it hasn't been done until last night. So from 1967 to now, uh, when you start looking at it and you start thinking about MVPs, you you got it. I mean, it's, it's just those two. Now, Carlton Towns, this is his second time scoring 60 points. The crazy thing with Carl Anthony Towns was at halftime, he had 44. He was on fire. Uh, I mean, just, you know, he seemed almost, it was just like he was untouchable. And the fact that that he did it, I, I thought they were going to win the game for sure. They ended they ended up losing, which, uh, which I was kind of surprised on. Uh, the final score, let me pull up that score there. Uh, for the Timberwolves, was 125 to the Hornets, 128. Uh, and Carl Anthony Towns did it on 38 minutes. He won uh, eight rebounds, two assists for 62 points. And we were talking, just talking about uh, Joel Embiid and B being the MVP. I don't know, you know, if Carl Anthony Towns was on a, if, if he had a different jersey, if they, he was a Laker or a Celtic, I think he would get more consideration for uh, MVP caliber type player, but playing for the Timberwolves, it just don't get the, it just doesn't catch the buzz. They have they have the best record in the West. Uh, I mean, they have just been form, performing all year, and you know you rarely ever even hear about the Timberwolves, which I think is an absolute sin. Now the 76ers, this was a really cool game because it was Embiid versus Victor Wimbanyamba. And, you know, you hear about the 70 point game by Joel and Embiid, but when you look at Victor Wimbanyamba, he, he had a phenomenal game. Uh, he played 28 minutes, seven rebounds, seven assists and 33 points. But the night belonged strictly to uh, Joel and B. They won 133 to one uh, the 123. Uh, and like I said, and B 18 points and, and 18 points, five assists, 70 and uh, 70 points, just amazing. So I wanted to touch on that part because that hasn't happened before. Uh, they combine uh, th those two guys combined for 132 points, which is which is something that I don't know if that has ever been done before that you had two players score 132 points on one night. So I, I just thought that was absolutely amazing. And I wanted us to kind of recognize that before we dive into what our regularly scheduled program was. So had to touch on that just a little bit there. Back to you, Miss Faith. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive, 132 points. I mean, that's, that's, what 132 points is, you know, that's the entire team. They mm -hmm. two yeah. players that was a team's worth of points. So it was crazy. Minnesota, they're the real deal. And I don't think people realize how strong a contender they are uh, for the NBA championship. Everyone just kind of kind of sweeps them under the rug, even though they have the best record in the West in the West. And one other thing. When you're talking about Joel Embiid, you look around and you say, "Are the 76ers better off without uh, um, get traded to uh, the Clippers, uh, James Harden?" I feel like they're a, that the 76ers are a better team and a much stronger team than they are with James Harden, and that's just something else to, to talk about maybe at a later date. But when I'm watching the 76ers, I feel like they play as a much more cohesive team. So I uh, just wanted to add that in there. So, and then I'll let you, I interrupted uh, our flow of what we're gonna talk about, but that was just too good not to talk about. No, don't worry about it. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, don't worry about First it. Group. We got discovered. <laughs> 